I hope you enjoy this film of a very small day on Bingley Moor, an award-winning part of our beautiful countryside. Although an absolutely horrendous day, as far as the weather was concerned, it was both exciting and a pleasure to enjoy our beautiful moors and their rugged wilderness. Here we are, uh, Natty. This is my loader who replaced Desmond. Mount Natras, good lad. But uh, what can I say? This is grouse shooting. And these days, getting shorter in number because a lot of moors have not got a lot of grouse this year, so we're only shooting the moors that have got a surplus. But it's just terrific to be here on the moor. I know it's, it's a natural, horrendous day if you were just walking about in it, but it's quite exciting to be stood here and, and getting out for a day because it's the only day that I'm going to get this year. These grouse are going to give us a hammering today. You know, they're going to be doing uh, up, to, up to 60, 70 mile an hour, these things. But we're going to try our best and uh, see if we can get something on camera anyway. But uh, you'll have to bear with the, the cameraman, he's, he's got a tough job to do. But we'll try our best. What do you think to grouse in here? I think they're pretty wild there, Dave, don't you? They were wild. Really? Yeah. Wild. yeah. But it's only a harvest at the end of the day, Dave, isn't it? That yeah. is. Yeah. Leave a nice good breeding stock for next season. Why I always shoot, yeah. I've left plenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you shot, hey, you shot one or two nice. I don't know what you shot in front, but... I think I stole one off your yeah. nose, then. You nearly, you nearly did. No, I, I don't, don't think know, you did. I think my loader said I nailed that one. Nah, you, well, loads will say anything, you <laughs> see, depending on what you're tipping them. Yeah. Watching awe of my good friend Kev Joblin, the grouse magnet I call him, as he skillfully dispatches these fast flying grouse. Well, we're on a little moor called Bingley and uh, outskirts of Bradford. It's a wonderful little moor. The amount of people that's on this moor today, uh, we've stopped for lunch and uh, I did notice that there must be at least 20 or 30 beaters out here. Half a dozen pickers up. The beaters will be, uh, they'll be picking up on their way through as well. But uh, this is the diversity, or the biodiversity of these moors. 
great for nurturing wildlife, great for nurturing grouse of course, our quarry species, and there's no other place like it on earth. Hopefully it continues for many years. It'd be a shame if we see the last of grouse shooting. Well, Edward, absolutely fantastic day. I'd oh, take, take my hood off now. <laughs> Nearly blown us away there, but this is what they call the wildest of wildest dreams of mine. I mean, I love to get on the moor, and unfortunately, there haven't been a lot of grouse this year, but it's the same old story. When there is none, we don't shoot them. The only, the only moors that do shoot them is when, there's a, when they've got uh, a harvest, or a, 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 a um, what we call a surplus, which is the harvest, you know. Yes. What I want to press on you now is, are you getting sick and tired of people throwing stones at grouse shooting when you do so much for conservation? This is about the best conservation effort you could have. Yeah. And we've been given awards for the conservation work we've done here. Yeah. And actually these moors are so near to Leeds and Bradford yeah. that a lot, the reason we won the main award was because people come out here and they see the conservation effort. Yeah and the keepers engage with them and talk yeah. to them and they understand what's going yeah. on. Yeah. So we're able to have good shooting around everybody in the community yeah. enjoying uh, what we yeah. provide here, which yeah. is a wonderful landscape, but Brilliant. also fantastic yeah. bird life. They're yeah. the part of plovers. But are we afraid, Edward? I'm going to put you on the spot again. <laughs> are we afraid to say we've enjoyed ourselves today? No, no, no. And, no. and I'm not. No, and, I, no. and I see that all the time. People, as a collective, sort of don't stand up and say, yeah, we do enjoy it because we get that question all the time. Why do you do it? And yes. then when we, we skirt around it and say what we've just said, conservation, which is 90% of why we do it as well, but, the, but we've got that other 10% where we actually enjoy it. Anyway, fantastic nice being here, here. And uh, obviously, again. Uh, oh, hopefully, <laughs> we'll, hopefully, we'll come again. Lovely. Right, thank you. Nice little message for Toby. I've shot with his dad today and he's a fine gentleman. Well, and he's not a bad grouse on either. <laughs> That's very kind, he's so uh, so. Have you enjoyed it today? Oh, it's just the ultimate, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's pure sport, it's, yeah. uh, it's wild, uh, conditions were really tough, yeah. and it was all the better for that. And you've got same as me, glasses on. And that is the problem, <laughs> we're washing them down all the time. <laughs> Chamois leather's my top two. But, that, that listen, we've had, we've had a great day out, and, it's been, been, and it's, been a, it's been actually been nice to get out on a grouse. We, we got the bag in yeah. three drives, so we did on, on, on very, very hard conditions, so yeah. we can't have been too bad, can we? Indeed not. Uh, anyway, hey. pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Likewise, thank Give you for your time.